So there's all this smoke, and then a car appears from the smoke. Then this guy walks into a building. I don't know, he's getting a job or something. Yeah, he gets a job. What's the job? He's a taxi driver. One day, he sees a woman in a white dress. He writes his feelings in a diary. He wants her. He wants her bad. Saxophone music plays. Sexy. No, it's not sexy. It's weird. The guy's handsome, but you can tell there's something wrong with him. He stares at a glass of water with fizzy antacid. It fizzes loudly as if to represent how he feels. What do you mean? It's like he's got a lot of stuff inside him that needs to come out. So he goes into the office of the woman he wants so bad where she works to see if he can try and get a date with her. She agrees to have coffee and pie with him. And for their first real date, he buys her a Chris Christopherson record and takes her to a porn movie. Weird. Yeah. I told you, there's something wrong with this guy. I'd be happy if someone bought me a Chris Christopherson record, but... Yeah, why would he take her to a porn movie? He thinks that's what people do on dates. So she gets mad. She doesn't want to see him again. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there's a lot of great camera work in this film. I like good cinematography. Me too. Big swooping camera work, great pans and tracking shots in this one. Love it. The guy works out a lot at home and writes about exercising in his diary. He points a gun at himself in the mirror and says something like, what are you doing? Are you, are you trying to say something to me? He's all screwed up and he keeps playing with his guns and looking more and more crazy. Then he meets a very young prostitute. She doesn't, he doesn't want to mess with her though. He, he acts more like an older brother. He's concerned about her. Why? He wants to save her. He thinks the city is a gross, terrible place and that by saving her, he can fix things a little. She's cool. She has funky clothes and a, a variety of colorful sunglasses. There's this really disturbing scene where her gross pimp is slow dancing with her and he's whispering things in her ear. She's just a little child in his big adult arms. Meanwhile, the main guy is polishing his cowboy boots and burning the unwanted roses he got for the lady he had the hots for, burning them in the sink. Then he shaves a little mohawk on his head. Things are getting really intense now. The music's really scary and he's no longer handsome because of the mohawk. He goes to where the pimp is, shoots him dead. Then he goes inside the building and uh, a lot of bad stuff happens. What kind of bad stuff? A lot of violence, a lot of shooting, some stabbing, I think. I don't actually know what happened because I had to close my eyes. I'm not good with violence. Finally, I had to go to the bathroom and I didn't come back until the movie was over. You don't know how it ends? No, but whatever happened must have been bad and sad. But it must have been a big release for the main guy because like I said, he had a lot of stuff fizzing up inside. I do know there was a lot of exceptional camera work. <laughs>